zodiac look with my friend Justice um, over on Instagram. So today's video is going to be the Libra sign. Um, I'm sorry that we couldn't get this video up sooner, um, but it's because I was doing a ton of Halloween looks that actually were kind of impromptu. I kind of just started doing them as I had the inspiration um, because I was kind of waiting till something inspired me to do the look um, before I did it because I wasn't really sure like what looks I was going to do and then they kind of just came to me. So Justice told me that if I don't have time to um, upload until November, she said that's fine. So I'm going to be doing my look for you guys today. So today's look is going to be the Libra and we're going to be using some colors from the ColourPop Zodiac palette. I might pull one other palette in. I'm not really sure yet. I mean, I usually use the um, So Jaded palette, so we'll see. I'm going to use the shade La Libra first because it's a really pretty, like, light pink shade. And we're just going to pop that all in the crease. And I just used the Wet n Wild concealer. Um for my face because I'm not going anywhere today. I did go somewhere earlier, but then I just stayed home for the rest of the day. Um, and then I'm using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder, and then I just set my face with my Wet n Wild powder. So we're just going to sorry I'm a bit low energy. I did go out yesterday for Halloween, so I'm a bit tired. So I'm just gonna buff that out. I'm going to do the same over here. It's going to be a pretty simple look. I mean, these looks kind of get a bit repetitive because literally the next look after this is going to be a pinkish look too because the Scorpio shade is like a pinkish color, so... And like I said, this palette is a little bit limited, so. Okay, and then for the defining shade, I'm going to take this color called the Sagittarius, and I'm going to just put that all in my defining area. Gonna be a pretty simple look, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. It is pretty cold today, so I ended up putting on my fleece pullover because I was just wearing a sweatshirt earlier and then it's like freezing. My mom did turn the heat up, so but at least this pullover goes perfectly for this look, so. Okay, and then from the So Jaded palette, mm, I kind of want to take Smoky Quartz. I don't know if I've used this in another look, but I think it'll be pretty with this. So I'm just going to pat that on my lid. I think that'll be a pretty color. Yeah. I didn't even put a glitter glue down. I mean, this shade's pretty pigmented without a glitter glue. So I'm not too worried. And then I'm going to do the same on the other eye.
Okay, so I realized that I used smoky quartz in literally the last look that I did. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to take the shade Moonstone. And I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Fluorite and I'm going to pop that over smoky quartz. I didn't realize that I already used that shade, so... We're gonna just pop that over the shade and I think that'll be really pretty on top. Mm -hmm. This shade does get a bit of hard pan though. It's really hard to remember which shades you've used and which ones you haven't, so forgive me for that. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm just going to reinforce the mattes off camera. I'm just going to pop on Moonstone on my brow bones since it's already in front of me. And the So Jaded palette. Okay, and then for the inner corners, um, I'm going to take the Cancer shade in the So Jaded palette. I'm just going to put that on the inner corners. And then I'm going to, since I got a little bit of shimmer on the lower lash line, I mean, it's kind of easy to take it away with the sponge. I kind of want to take a little bit of the Libra and just smudge it underneath. Just because this is the shade for this sign. Ugh, that Scorpio came on. Why they? It's not the shade you want. My water over here. It's always in the way. I feel like this palette's kind of getting a bit old. These shades aren't really performing as well as they used to. Meanwhile, I've just been getting a ton of palettes lately. I just ordered two more, the Nightmare and the Alien one. This one has so much kickback, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's very, um, powdery. It's alright. I don't really care. And then we're just gonna deepen up that Sagittarius shade. I'm going to put on a little bit more of the Libra again. Mm 
yeah, just like that. Mm, I'm gonna go a little bit more of the Sagittarius. Let me not poke myself in the eye. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna do mascara. I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild Mega Lens mascara and put it on the top and bottom. I'm glad that I at least looked up my last look with the Zodiac because I did not realize that I used it so recently. The Smoky Cord shade. Not that anyone would have probably noticed, but I don't like using the same shade twice in these looks. Okay, just like that. And then for my liner, I'm just gonna use the LA Girl liner, um, my nude one. Just warm it up a little. Okay, and then for bronzer, I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild bronzer. Just to bronze up my skin a little. Because why not? I forgot to text my boss. Okay, sorry, she was texting me about another shift. Kind of have to respond to that first. Yeah, but sorry, this look is going up so late in the month. Well, it didn't even go up last month, but I just had so much fun doing Halloween looks that this kind of just fell to the wayside a little. So you'll probably be seeing two Zodiac looks this month. I'm still going to title it October Zodiac look. It's just not going to be posted until November 2nd. I'm probably going to put it up tomorrow. I just needed to take a break from editing yesterday because I was editing my ass off with all of those Halloween looks. So... Okay, and then for blush, I'm just going to take the usual blush that I use for these. And I like using the Zodiac blushes, so I'm going to use the shade I Need Space. That is like way too much. They're always so pigmented. So I have to be very careful. I'm going to do the same over here. But these blushes certainly haven't lost their pigmentation. I just feel like the palette kind of has. Okay, and then for highlights, I'm going to use the Rosé All Day Highlighter from Physician's Formula called Shimmering Rose. I almost dropped that. But at least I have carpeted floor now going to take a little bit because it is kind of dark for me. But it looks so pretty, but dang, it's dark. 
It's funny how Physician's Formula actually made a darker toned highlighter. Because they're, usually their stuff is like way too light for only like super fair skin tones. So I'm actually surprised this one's a little bit darker. But it's so pretty. Maybe a little too dark. I like how it looks. It looks so pretty in person. I know. Well, you know, it actually looks less dark on camera. So. I'm just going to leave it like that because I think it looks pretty. And then I'm just going to set my face one more time with my color pop. Pretty fresh spray. I'm almost out of this. And then... Oh, I know what lipstick I want to use, too. So, yes, I'm going to use this one from Bora Mongrel. So, I'm just going to brush through my brows. And just, hmm. There is my brow gel. I forgot to order more brow gel with the Nightmare Before Christmas palette, but I think that um, they have it at Ulta, ColourPop. I'm probably just going to pick it up there soon because this is hella dried out, so I feel like there's like nothing left in it. Or I might just pick up like Elf's Clear Brow Gel. Okay, and then for the lips, I'm going to go into this beautiful nude color called Nikki's Nude from Gourmand Girls and I'm going to use that for my lipstick. Oh, that's perfect for this. I've only gotten to use this lipstick once, so this looks so pretty with it. I was wearing a lot of bold colors for Halloween, so I haven't really gotten the chance to wear this one as much. Okay, and that's pretty much it, you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Here are the eyes. The cheeks. And the lips. And I just need to fix that a little. Okay, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at cpw819. And please go check out Justice's look on her Instagram. I will leave your Instagram linked below. And um, yeah, that's it. Love you guys. Bye.